We've wired up create note and let's add a couple more. So if we run our app and we come in here as a user and we create note and let's create one called shopping list and the content is need eggs, bread, milk, chocolate. And we submit that note and we can come back in here and do another one. We can do uh, assignments. We can say in let's delete this out of here and we can say in English we have to finish uh, reflection in social studies we have to do research and in coding we have to finish our notes app so we save all our assignments so now we have in our data table our notes table we should have our three notes there we go we got our first note our shopping list our assignments and we've got the values in here so let's make it so that we can actually see our notes so let's go to this view note but view notes button and wire that up and just to remind ourselves this is the ideas view notes button so how do we make a button work how do we wire up a button when the user clicks this view notes view my notes button we want something to happen well, we use the on event. And how do we wire it up? How do we connect this button to the code? It's through the ID, uh, which again, sorry, I forgot it really quick. Uh, that is called the view notes button. So we just put where it's asking for this ID property. We just say view notes button. And where are we gonna view the notes? So we have this view notes screen. So let's take the user to the view notes screen and we'll say set screen view notes screen and the code completion is giving us the help. So let's just use it. And well, what do we want to do? We so we want to get all of the notes out of the database so we can see them. And the way we get the notes out of the database you could guess it if you came over here to the data tab and looked around. Do you see anything in here that would get all the records from the database? It's this one, read records. So read records, um, basically just like create records, it's asking for the table name. So we want to read from the notes table. And this right here, the second parameter between these curly braces, if we leave that empty, it will grab all the notes from the notes table, which is what we want. And once it grabs all the notes, it's going to execute this callback function. And it kind of gives us this for loop by default. This for loop is going to loop through all of the records. So it's going to go one by one through all of the records. And right now it's just going to log it out to the log them out to the console. It's going to show us the records ID and the records name. We don't have a name column. We have a note title. So we could change this to note title. And if we run this and we say view my notes down here in the console, it is logging out the ID and the note title for all of the notes in our notes table. So we're getting very close. So that's how you read records from the database. Next time, let's come in here and instead of just logging out to the console, let's actually show it to the screen.